body. <laughs> you can say the same thing about Eugenia Cooney's body. You just refuted yourself in three seconds. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Hey, what's going on, boys? How you doing today? It's another stream with your boy, Chris the Narc. This number two T channel in the world. Willie Back Show, obviously being number one, but I'm coming in a close fucking second after this. But let's get into a war with the T channels. I'm starting a war, and I don't care. Come at me. The reason I'm going over this today is because the tea community has a bit of a hate boner for a certain kind of content creator. Her name is Eugenia Cooney. Now, the thing is, is why I'm doing this is because they continuously fuck up stories on Eugenia Cooney, her family, everything. Um, they've made up lies. They've used tarot card readings to determine if her mother's a good person. They've created lies about her brother. Um, and Eugenia's just somebody who makes regular content on YouTube. But for some ungodly fucking reason, these animals, these trogs, continuously try to tear her down. For no reason. She makes content like the rest of us. And these stories, honestly, a lot of them are overhyped by the T community and actually falsely reported on by the T community. The only one number one T channel is Willie Mac show. And that's because, that's because he just decided to fucking call himself the number one T channel. Not a lot of people have high opinions of the T community, Icy. Uh, me especially. And a lot of other a lot of other creators that kind of go in line of what we call the commentary community, and then there's the T community. They're, they're, they have their their own little barrier line. It's it's very interesting the complexities between uh, the commentary community and the T community. Again, the difference between commentary community is that we focus on the gaming community and YouTube, while they focus on uh, uh, celebrity drama because it's called spilling the tea, Sonic. You never been like, you never heard somebody say, give me that tea girl or some shit like that. That's where the tea community came from. Tea is another word for like story. I can't believe I have to describe that to people. <laughs> so I want to kind of catch you guys up on a few things. There's this content creator named Eugenia Cooney. Now, Eugenia Cooney is like every other YouTuber on the platform. She makes beauty content. She makes gaming content on Twitch. You may have seen her before. She is an anorexic YouTuber. Um, she is looking for help. She's getting better. And over time, this is kind of like what she's been criticized for. Um, I understand that you that uh, that anorexia, bulimia, and all these other EDs are pretty dangerous to their bodies. But Eugenia Cooney is honestly building herself up. And she hasn't done anything to warrant the amount of criticism and stories that get made about her. I first became aware of her when I was watching Willie Mac show for the first time in my life. Uh, when I first found his channel, it was the Eugenia Cooney saga. And it's honestly kind of fucking ridiculous. I don't understand why these people come at her this way. She doesn't do anything. She just plays games. She just plays games and does beauty just like everybody else. But they come up with these stories like her mother's abusive to her and forcing her to be anorexic. There's the factors of... Um, there's new rumors that her brother is essaying her. There's there's crazy shit. Like she's a horrible person behind the scenes and that she's lied to people about going to get help. Um, that she never wanted to get help in the first place. That she's doing this for content. That all these things. It doesn't make any sense to me how these people come at you, Gina Cooney. And it's kind of really fucking aggravating in my opinion. I was going to say sad, but I can't say sad. It's aggravating. These T channels have pushed me to the point where I need to talk about it just a little bit because you guys get stories wrong all the fucking time. There are points. There are points at the end of the day that need to be brought up. Eugenia Cooney has done nothing wrong to warrant 99.9% .9 of any of the criticism levied at her. Sure, are you concerned about her health? That is perfectly fine. Do you have to uh, har harass her about her health? Do you have to go into her Twitch chats and say wild, crazy, accusatory shit 
what is with these T channels that think that they can get away with this shit? And I'm actually fucking sick and tired of their bullshit. I'm sick and tired of the T community pulling this shit. So we're actually going to go over a YouTuber. Her name is Miasaurus. Okay, cool name. Her video called The Actual Problem with Eugenia Cooney. The description, Eugenia Cooney has been trending on TikTok as late because people are suspecting that she's intentionally hurting her audience with her behaviors. What behaviors? What has she done to warrant anything that you've been throwing at her? Any of the fucking slang at her? Any of the accusatory shit about her? What has she done? Nothing. She's just making content. I <laughs> I don't get where these people come off that they can do these things and fucking come at her. She's never done anything controversial. She stayed to herself. She's done her content. She just exists on the platform. It seems like you guys have a serious issue with her because one of her relevancy two because she's making the same content content as you guys and actually is successful at it three has stated multiple times that she literally has been trying to get help. Curing ED is not easy at all. But she is a shining example of somebody who can struggle through ED, ED and then over time turn into something healthier. But to be honest, she's living her life. Why are you trying to come in and destroy this person's life? Another great example of another YouTuber is Bella Aubrey, where she just makes bullshit about everybody <laughs> she's never accurate so we're gonna go over mia soros and go over her video as to why there's a pro the actual problem with eugenia cooney in her words okay y'all might be wondering where i stand with this woman and that would be what is with these random edits what the fuck on her neck y'all see what the fuck okay Okay. Who is writing this script? What's the guy's time? You. I, I would hope you're writing this script. Okay, enough for you trying to start talking about me. So, before we start this, let's I just heard Among Us. I just heard the Among Us noise. Why did I hear the Among Us noise? Why? Dude, this was made in June of this year. Among Us has been dead for months. Let me set the record straight, or maybe not, because you know it's. Pride month. Uh, the open <laughs> what are these jokes? <laughs> I'm not laughing at your jokes. I'm laughing at your delivery and how fucking terrible it is. Yo, Fursic. Uh, hey, Chris. Surprised you aren't watching NASCAR. Now, considering you're a big fan, you can suck my nuts if you think I'm a fan of NASCAR. Opening statement. I know. Y'all don't gotta. You insult the Xbox achievement. With this video, fuck you. Tell me twice, okay? It was a little bit aggressive, but please, por favor, in Spanish, take the. What the fuck is this? <laughs> oh no, I know, I see, I know, I see. Bella, uh, Bella Aubrey is just a fucking nightmare of a human pe person for getting information wrong all the time. Thank you, South African potato. I absolutely love that shit dramatics with a grain of salt you know keep the seasoning cute but don't overdo it and clog your eider no because we gotta take it back to the drawing board so recently on tiktok as some of you may or may not have i feel like with those nails like if i actually was to like go at her i feel like her initial response would be pull them out like a cat and just jam them in your face and pull down you know what i mean like like some jerk like some new jersey level fighting just literally like those fucking nails you sharpen them to a point just to drive them into some person's face and just claw down as hard as possible holy shit how do you do anything with those nails can i be honest with you how do you do that how do you use your nails how do you click things how do you like type things out it just look at this look at this Yes, Sin Sing, she's talking in Italian. The, the, the amount of hand movements that she's doing is very Italian-esque. I've heard by now since listening skills do tend to vary from person to person. Oh. Then as a refresher, Eugenia Cooney, who has been, I believe, for about a decade now, a very famous quote-unquote successful influencer. Quote-unquote 
successful influencer lady lady two million subscribers everyone in the youtube community knows who she is she is a successful content creator she's also successful on twitch what the fuck are you literally talking about what are you smoking Yo, listen, I get it. I get it. Those nails are hard to maintain, but I feel like you're huffing a lot. Of, like, you know how they, like, shave them down? They use, like, the fucking things. Like those, uh, what the fuck are they called? It's like a roller that is, like, on an electric thing, and it just sharpens the nails. I feel like she just keeps huffing all the nail fucking dust at her local salon, and it's just starting to fuck with her head. Eugenia Cooney is a quote-unquote successful influencer all right okay sure i'll hear you out on that one namely on youtube has now been banned from the platform and in any other case this would be forgettable i mean yet another influencer not allowed to influence me to use birth control whatever will i do who gives a shit <laughs> what the fuck what the absolute fuck is this video no, she didn't get banned. She didn't get banned. This video was back in June. And the thing that people don't know is how often Eugenia Cooney's channel gets flagged by these misinformed channels. That they just keep causing more fucking problems for this poor girl. Like, I get it. A lot of people criticize her for the anorexia, which... Okay, but the thing is, is that you're going about it in the wrong way. Instead of trying to help her, you try to shame her on literally every single goddamn thing that she does. Eugenia Cooney can't even walk outside with somebody coming out of the woodwork and say, you see Eugenia, Eugenia Cooney walking down the street? You see that kind of purse that she has? That was made in a sweatshop. How dare she? How dare she hold that purse? They have a problem with literally everything. And it's hilarious. There's zero self-reflection. Like if I got anything wrong on any of the quantum videos or if I was putting out false information... I take it down or I say I was wrong. Just like I was wrong about the ban evasion thing. I said I was wrong. But these people will never, ever, ever admit that they're wrong. They will make shit up on the fly just to protect their own brands. But this instance is different because Eugenia Cooney, well, 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 well. She is quite a special case, as some may say. Others, well... They're just going to say, man, when the fuck is this intro going to be over? Uh, you see... Yeah, bro, this intro's been going on for a fucking minute of you just rehashing who Eugenia Cooney is. Everyone knows who Eugenia Cooney is. The T community knows who Eugenia Cooney is. Eugenia Cooney is extremely well known for a completely different reason than the rest of her peers online. That reason being of course, because she has a lot of really sketchy behaviors regarding her own personal battle with an eating Sketchy? Dude, she just has... She's just dealing with something. It's not sketchy. It's just what it is. She has constantly brought up she wants to get help, but the thing is, is that an example is her fucking friends tried to commit her to a rehab clinic Without her knowing. There are moments in Eugenia Cooney where people have tried to force her to get better. You don't force people to get better. If they have an addiction or a disorder or anything, you can't force someone to get better. You need to push them in a positive direction and you need to uplift them to want to get better. And these kinds of videos with you people talking shit don't help. You, Bella, all of them, are a fucking problem. And if you're sitting here wondering like, Mia, did you even listen to what you just said? Why are we shitting on this girl? Is it because there's a lot of fiber going on or did we eat some bad taquito? Guys! What the fuck? My, my brain is overloading with all of the edits. Lady, get to your point. Get to your fucking point. That's what I get paid to do, to tell you what the fuck is up, Kyle, so. I have seen so many dead memes just rolled into one video. In the span of two minutes, there has been literally 
12 dead fucking memes. That's amazing. That is just, you're, you're killing the memes. They were already dead. Yeah, there's nothing else to say. Oh. So the first thing I kind of wanted to do besides maintain viewer retention so that I could get to the eight minute ad mark. <laughs> oh God, sweet Jesus fucking Christ. They're so self-aware. She has to be self-aware. I don't believe that she actually believes that somebody isn't going to use that. I think she knows. Dude, she's 100% self-aware. As someone from New Jersey, bro, your whole state, your whole state's a joke, Slayer. No wonder you keep trying to know me. Your whole state's a fucking joke. You guys sent us fucking schnooky. Fuck you guys. Was kind of do a little bit of a breakdown as to who Eugenia Cooney is, what's her situation, how she gets where she is, and what's currently happening with her online presence. So in order to do that, what do you mean? She's literally just making content. She's just making content. That's all she's doing. She just does beauty content, gaming content, like every other YouTuber. I don't understand their fucking, uh, their addiction to Eugenia Cooney. I feel like I have to backtrack a little bit and walk. Man, y'all know how. So Eugenia Cooney is a 27-year-old American YouTuber. And as she puts it, her content primarily focuses on her interest in makeup as well as fashion. But the reason. How she puts it? No, that's, that's, li that's literally what it is. That's literally all she's doing. As to why she's so wildly controversial as well as spoken about online is it's because of all of you motherfuckers not because the bitch knows her way around a maddie euphoria makeup tutorial but it is because she actually very tragically as i mentioned me and it is relatively clear to notice upon looking at her but besides that they really judge her <clears throat> they really judge her they all pretend like they're concerned about her health, but what they're really focusing on is the fact that she is on YouTube and is she is more successful than all of them. You can tell by the way that these videos are basically structured and how they talk about her and the subtle words, the subtle words that they use to describe her literally shows how jealous they are of her success just being a regular YouTuber. To be honest, in my opinion, if Eugenia Cooney got better and she wasn't, she didn't have the ED anymore, she would still be a successful YouTuber because she's actually charismatic. She actually makes the content fun. Like, I actually believe that. I've only watched a handful of her videos and I can see why people find her entertaining. The only people that stick on her ED are you people. The, are you people ever since her first appearances on social media so that would include is true wretched if eugenia cooney got better the t channels would 100 percent ride her they'd be like oh wow eugenia cooney got better eugenia cooney she listened to us we always knew we always knew that if she got better no it's a lie you don't care about her fucking health you never have instagram twitter but she has have, did you just forget all of the social media platforms she's on within three seconds from the start shown very wearing signs that her illness is rapidly progressing as well as shown signs please watch the ass so i can afford an asthma inhaler <laughs> that her This might be the biggest grift I've ever seen in my life for a YouTube video, especially commentary. I've never seen this before. Did she just say watch the ad? Please watch the ad. Yeah, lady, nah. I don't want you to afford that inhaler now. Her family life is dysfunctional at best. And How do you know that? None of that has shown. All of those old Reddit posts, everything you guys continuously bring up as evidence is not evidence. It has been proven by other channels that have defended Eugenia Cooney that literally 99.9% .9 of that shit is fake. 
and just outright fucking horrible for her at worst. But to kind of keep the conversation moving, in terms of where she's at today, well, her ongoing circumstances actually came to a point where some very close friends of Eugenia herself, they were- Willie Mac's show has already debunked this. Already debunked this. I'm not even gonna go over the points. I, you know what? I will once she talks more, but I already know what she's gonna say. They're becoming increasingly worried about her, and they even asked mental health professionals to evaluate her in person for a 5150. Now, for those of A 5150, yes. That is an admittance to a medical profession and facility to put her in a rehab clinic to help her. The thing is, is that you cannot trick someone into going into 5150. Let's see if her friends actually talk her into it or try to trick her into it. For y'all who don't know what that is, see, I told you my paycheck shows up for a reason. Then a 5150 is essentially where a qualified team will show up in most cases to your house and kind of decide whether or not you are a danger to yourself and or others. So if they believe that you are, then you can be detained against your will and be placed in psychiatric holding. Which is the worst fucking thing that you could do. Drug addicts, ED patients all of those people that sit back and you go hey what if we just sent them to rehab that doesn't help they need to want to go themselves and you try to trick them it doesn't work slash care for up to 72 hours but in eugenia's case she did end up fitting the criteria according to them and because <laughs> you see that sly little like head bob shit according to them According to them, you know my ex-girlfriend used to do that shit? That's how I know that she doesn't agree with it and it annoys her that she doesn't agree with it. My literal ex-girlfriend used to do that shit. Like when I would say something that she didn't agree with, she like do a weird like little head tick. Because of this, she was forced into a rehab for a month, which then resulted in her taking a six to seven month hiatus from social media altogether. She then made a very huge return, very infamously. And as for how she- Shane Dawson did a fucking doc on her, okay. She's been doing ever since then, she actually has slipped back into her very dangerous habits and therefore, presumably, is still very deep into her disorder. Now, where this kind of ties into today's conversation is recently on TikTok, as I previously mentioned, oh my God, I had a stroke case. She has been banned. Uh, all right. Kind of sounds like it's not a big deal. I mean, what the fuck? But this has been a very big topic of discussion for many people as her response to the situation has been interesting to say the least. A big fucking shitstorm to say the most. I mean, what the, this is actually- what? Just get to the point. Stop dragging it out. Holy fuck. Actually, just one of her responses on Twitter. Let's motherfucking read this. And it says, uh, apparently my account is banned now. It's pretty annoying, honestly, because I haven't broken any guidelines. So I'm guessing it's from false reports. I literally believe Eugenia Cootie in three seconds. I literally believe her in three seconds that it was 100% false reports and flagging from people that are a part of the tea community i believe that now do i know that for a fact no but could is it something that i could actually believe yes because of all the fake information the tea channels have been put out against her hmm. hopefully i get it figured out and i guess i'll just let you guys know what ends up happening and just so y'all can get an overall feel for the situation. She's also live streamed many times about her thoughts, her... Man, did I say thoughts? I mean... Okay, she live streamed her thoughts. Why are you, why are you second guessing that word? What the... Who are you? Who are you? How do you have one million subscribers? I guess Eugenia getting bitches too. But on Twitch, she is spoken... What? <laughs> what? A lot about how unfair all of. Why are you censoring it? Why are you censoring her? Can't you just accept this woman? 
and try to help her through a positive means instead of you just being a fucking ass you're also looking at the stream archives for eugenia cooney a lot of those are cut in bad fucking ways <laughs> oh my god i fucking can't do this did she say on twitch and show youtube yes she didn't look up her fucking U twitch channel also she's a fan of kingdom hearts eugenia cooney you are not my favorite person on planet earth eugenia can we play like can we play like kingdom hearts one day that'd be sick just on a live stream we'll go back and forth on the controller or something i don't know that'd be kind of awesome can we just play kingdom hearts 4 together that'd be pretty fucking sick her bands have been because this is actually not the first time so let's just have a listen all right um and i just kind of feel like you know like me existing on the internet and me like looking the way i look like that's like my appearance i'm, I'm just making videos of, like that's literally <laughs> so eugenia cooney just goes looks like look like that's just my appearance i'm just making videos this girl goes, huh? Like, just weird-ass fucking faces. The things I enjoy. Like, whether that's makeup, or that's a fashion, or is it, like, a vlog. Like, I'm not making adult content. You know, I'm not. Like, listen. She literally isn't! <laughs> listen, you guys just really want to hate on Eugenia Cooney. These edits are slowly fucking degrading my brain. I literally, I these edits are so fucking annoying. Does it wait? Go back. What the fuck was that? Doesn't really get it. Doesn't really get what. She doesn't advocate for ED. She doesn't say on her live streams or any of her videos that people should have ED. I just don't understand what you mean by this statement here. She is right. Age-restricted videos should be age-restricted videos. She's actually speaking pretty factually on how YouTube should handle things, especially when it comes to age-appropriate content. If your content is not like really raunchy or shit in YouTube's world, they, 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 you, you should be left alone. She's just doing makeup. She's doing makeup and playing games and being herself. But your point that she doesn't get it. She's literally, literally explaining her frustration with the YouTube age restrictive system against her channel, which does not make any sense. And I agree with her. She doesn't do anything that should be considered age restricted. What are these faces? She isn't making 18 plus content. She's making regular content that everyone else on YouTube makes. My God, they try so hard. They try so hard to just fucking ruin this girl. They try so goddamn hard to ruin this girl. This is the ultimate New Jersey person. Yeah, y'all heard me, okay? I said needle and thread oh, that bitch. Gosh. As y'all can probably see, I am so fucking mad that I am going to helpfully express my feelings and communicate with you. Well, my you haven't done any of that. You've just made faces this entire time. And then first off, Eugenia Cooney putting on lingerie for YouTube. I'll agree with you. Might be pushing the boundary on YouTube. If anyone just wears their boxers or or any sort of just bra, panties, lingerie on YouTube, that can be considered an age restriction. You get that point. But the thing is, is that the entire way up, this entire time, you have been shitting on her for a bunch of stuff that literally does not correlate to this specific instance. You have done nothing this entire time except make faces. 
the boundaries of oh, what the so first of all to kind of point out the obvious you know what let me just follow in the words of Eugenia herself and kind of take a look at the community guidelines the TikTok terms of service TOS because over here we get the facts you know what I'm saying no nope. obviously not because you're still referencing old reddit posts that have been debunked and also saying that her friends tried to get her into a rehab clinic and re not bringing up the fact that they tried to trick her to go into it so you're not getting anything right so far no copy no printer just booked and busy office hours over here at me source man seriously just fuck it but as it pertains to this silly little video making platform if we take a quick read your editing is fucking killing my brain right now over what's allowed on TikTok, there is actually a section specifically dedicated to. Well, wow, why are you blocking this all out? I don't understand. You're literally just reading the terms of service of TikTok. What? What? What was all of those? What was all of that? Eds. So to elaborate, content that isn't allowed is posts that depict, promote, normalize, or glorify disordered eating, as well as content that depicts. Pro oh my God, the budget's not high enough for reading rainbow. Or glorifies any dangerous weight loss behaviors associated. That's the thing. TikTok's wrong. In my opinion, TikTok is wrong. She is not promoting it. She's not normalizing it. She's not glorifying it. She has done none of those things on either platform. She just talks about her doing her thing. She plays games, does makeup. That's it. She doesn't go on rants about how ED is good. How ED has affected her life in positive ways. She hasn't done that. There's no evidence of that. And to be honest, lady, the fact that you turn around and you say that Eugenia Cooney is doing this and that's why TikTok removed her, you don't know. You're just reading the terms of service because in your adult brain, you think this right here immediately means Eugenia Cooney was promoting, normalizing, and glorifying her ED. Uh, why is she referencing TikTok? Because, because Eugenia Cooney was banned from TikTok. Slayer, Chris, us in New Jersey have a team for people like this, and they are called people from North Jersey. All right, fair enough. Associated with disordered eating. Now, if we're going to apply this to what we're actually talking about, I personally, and this is just my opinion, believe that Eugenia's content honestly falls into this category. And How? In what sense? She makes games and does fucking makeup. That is it. Sometimes I believe she intentionally makes sure that it does too. Let me explain. I'm getting a little bit off. Yeah, please, please explain. Please explain nuanced topic i want everybody to remember that before i actually dive into it but what I'm she's literally just walking she's literally just walking she's just walking in an outfit that's all she's doing <laughs> what the fuck these people will literally use anything to try and cancel eugenia you may not know this especially if you don't have any prior experience with having an ed being knowledgeable about Oh my, knowledgeable about it, but the majority of what she's posting, whether it be just outfit reveals or her walking or showing off her shoes, as she likes to call it, actually falls into the category of body checking. And body checking is essentially just the repeated looking at your shape or size, not casually. She's literally just wearing outfits and walking. What the fuck are you smoking? But almost in a way that's compulsive in a sense that you're always monitoring what the fuck. Eugenia Cooney still has her YouTube channel. She has no strikes. So there's no reason to blur. Eugenia Cooney, her channel is perfectly fine. Fuck you look like so. It might be a little bit of a stretch, but. It's a massive stretch. It's a massive stretch. Yeah, no, I know. It doesn't make sense why the T-Channel is doing that. That's what I'm trying to say. If Eugenia Cooney's content is perfectly fine for YouTube, why is she censoring it? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. The bitch is flexible. What can I say? Because when coupled with what she's been quoted saying when asked to actually explain herself, well, it's not really hard to draw this conclusion regarding her intentions. When you wear clothing revealing ribs, it's triggering to people, so I don't know. Well, then they don't have to watch it. Wait a minute. Like they literally don't. 
They don't have to watch it. Remember those two overweight sisters that scam people out of their money? Sunny V2 did a video on that. You don't have to watch their content. You don't have to watch Eugenia Cooney's content. You don't have to watch it. Then why the fuck are you getting mad about it? And if you get triggered, that's on you, bitch. I love how she doesn't understand that Eugenia Cooney actually had a really great fucking point there. And she just goes, excuse me, what? Eugenia Cooney said that it's almost the same thing as saying something about somebody who's fat and you saying something about them. <laughs> okay, what if that Finish it. That is a fact. What is this lady trying to insinuate? Eugenia Cooney basically put it into two categories. I'm going to stand over here. Eugenia Cooney. Incredibly skinny. ED. Erect, uh, fucking uh, anorexia, right? We could all... We could all say that, right? Cool. You get triggered by her being skinny. And in your words, not being healthy. Let's come to this side. People who are overweight and cannot live and be healthy, same as being too skinny, is a problem, right? Like, you criticize that. And you're like, oh, well, you know, if you're offended by somebody being fat, that's on you. But if they define that as healthy for themselves, you can't force that person to think otherwise. You T-channels are the ultimate contradictors. You T-channels constantly find things, even when she has a good point, you guys have to be like, well, what she's talking about? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> what the fuck? Am I wrong about that? Am I wrong about the analogy that I just made there? I don't think I'm fucking wrong. I don't think I'm crazy. If somebody is upset by Eugenia Cooney's body, that's on you, sweetheart. She's living her life the best way that she can just like everyone else and these fucking idiots that make these t channels don't get that they just keep trying to find ways to fucking chop her at the knees like as an example when i talk about nikocado avocado there's a lot of things to criticize him on but when it comes to his weight i'm actually concerned i'm like nick i really hope you get better you got to change your lifestyle i i really believe that you know being healthier is a good option now is that me being mean to Nick or is that me being like, hey man, maybe you should do that. If not, that's fine. That's fine. I'm not going to be fucking pissy about Nick being overweight. That's not my life. <laughs> like, I don't know why they're so obsessed with Eugenia. Yeah. Are you trying to say that fat people aren't beautiful? That's fat phobic. You, I saw that face you made when she said, how come I can't consider myself beautiful or other people of different body types aren't considered beautiful? Are you also lumping in fat people? You're ignorant, bro. You're fat phobic. No, I'm kidding. I, it's just, you're just trying to use any way that you can to take down Eugenia. And that's literally just me being as ridiculous as you and saying ridiculous shit like that. Mad about that. I'm getting defensive. Yeah. I mean... Actually, I'm just tired of... Why did you cut her off before her point's almost done? You're just tired of what? I'm cutting you off to yell at you. There's a difference, lady. Because I'm making good points against you. You are literally trying to paint a narrative... That is not viable 
because Eugenia makes good points and then all of you get fucking pissy. What's up, Mortal Wake? How you doing? You guys need to get your shit in line and stop bullying this girl. Flavor of talking. <laughs> okay, so... Actually, that was not okay. First of all, the correlation being made here. I mean, maybe I'm just reading too much into the link. You are! Linguistics, but when somebody says some shit, I'm just trying to take it at face value. And me... You are bad at your job, then. You are bad at your job if you take that at face value. You are so bad at being a commentary cha a T channel. If you take everything at face value and not look at everything more in depth and be retrospective and being like, hey, that actually was a good point. You heard Eugenia say that sentence and then you automatically assume the worst. You're bad at your job. I mean, I'm a drugstore bitch. This is not worth a lot. But Eugenia, she got the ass sense coming through. I know there's some Charlotte Tilbury happening on her cheekbones. Let's dissect this. So, first of all, the correlation made between beautiful and her... That just already showcases to me what her personal beliefs are regarding the way that she looks. So, it's very easy. It's almost like she, she does want to get help. And she understands that she needs to get help. But she's comfortable in her body. Is that healthy? No. But is she comfortable with herself? Is she happy with herself? Is she somebody that is actually making content and living her life the best way that she can? Yes! Easy when you're struggling. I mean, it takes a certain mindset to be stuck in this type of condition to find that beautiful. But to openly discuss it and say that to your audience of million disturbing. This disturbing. Second point. To quote her, I mean, what you know what's disturbing? You saying that you take one sentence at a face value and then immediately go off on a rant. If somebody sees someone else's fat rolls and thinks, "Wow, that's hell," yo, let me just. I don't know how the fuck people don't realize. This. In 20 motherfucking 22 use the mayan calendar if you need a google translation on you are not funny please just get to your point where we're at but someone can still have rolls on their body and be healthy <laughs> someone can have rolls on their body <laughs> you can say the same thing about eugenia cooney's body you just refuted yourself in three seconds In my opinion, the follow-up comment to this question is just... I mean, come on now, guys. Let's not pretend like these two things that she's trying to talk about and compare that they're the same thing. Because they're not. <laughs> like somebody... How aren't they? It's because one's larger and one's smaller? How is it not the same? larger showing off their body compared to somebody who's unhealthily underweight constantly showing off their body <laughs> these people try so hard they try so hard they try so hard they try so hard it's literally the same thing it's just one person's bigger one person smaller <laughs> that's it body bro one of those things is actually highlighted and valued in society. It's just a fact. But smaller frames, come on. That that has been the ideal, especially within beauty standards, especially just within advertising. That, though, is not. Not now. Marketing, Don't worry, Minxie, I'm general, almost done. I'll join you guys halfway through. I got pissed off by Eugenia Cooney shit. The ultimate standard to be at. Person with body rolls, as she might put it. Most motherfucking people in society are not looking at them thinking, oh, shit, I want to look like that. In fact, it's usually the opposite where people just shit on them for simply existing. But isn't that what you're doing to Eugenia? Isn't that something you're doing to Eugenia? Isn't that something you're doing to Eugenia? Am I crazy? Isn't that what they're saying about her? Am I crazy? Am I? Am I fucking crazy? No. I'm not fucking crazy. Slayer, shut your mouth. Shut your mouth, Slayer. For absolutely no fucking 
reason. And I'm not saying that that does not happen to slim figures and people too, but the proportion of hate and love that these two groups receive, they're not the same, Henny. So to almost act like we're just already living in a world where everything's motherfucking kumbaya, bitch, this ain't a Disney movie, okay? <laughs> I fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> This is so awful. She's literally just making shit up and taking things entirely out of context for her own self-interest and story. Because the big thing on T-Channels is to shit on Eugenia Cooney. Did you not learn from when Willie Mack and the rest of the commentary community slapped around fucking Bella? Did none of you learn? Because apparently you fucking didn't. on TikTok, which is actually the demographic that TikTok tends to go after. That's the platform that children are using. Let me just, SparkNotes runs it down for you. But SparkNotes runs it down. Great sentence, first off. Second, that's some New Jersey teaching right there. Listen here. You, <laughs> you drug. Eugenia Cooney on TikTok or anywhere has not said in the slightest, that anyone should be like her. She has just said, I am comfortable with my own body and I find myself beautiful. Just like somebody who's overweight would say that. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about and you're making a story. You're making a story out of nothing. When you hear shit like Amazon serves chicken and waffles for Juneteenth, you wonder if you are real or if the world is real. Ridiculous. They might. In most cases, they will. Look at your content where you showcase your body. Fuck, they might even just be listening to what you're saying right now and think that this is okay. Because this TikTok doesn't give a fuck about that. TikTok doesn't care. TikTok has somebody who's doxed people for not getting vaccinated live on their platform. TikTok has had murderers on there before of animals. TikTok doesn't give a fuck. TikTok hasn't given a fuck since its inception. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. This kind of talk is going to lead them to believe that this, the way that you look, should be normalized. And that shit should not be taken lightly. Because yes, eating disorders are prevalent in society and we should normalize that. But we should not normalize having them. There's a clear difference there. Because it takes a lot of mental deterioration to get through this state. Deterioration. Deterioration. Please pronunciate your words better. This is hell. Do y'all hear what the fuck I'm saying? So yeah, while well, she does have a point here, and I definitely understand what she said. Oh, wow. She, she said she has a point, but somehow for the past... Nine minutes and 55 seconds all the way up to 1338. It took her that long to say that she had, Eugenia has a valid point but then immediately refutes that point and starts going into the same shit she was saying before. Saying it's fucking annoying to have people constantly shitting on you, belittling you, but you gotta listen to the people and what they're trying to say. They know it's not your responsibility to take care of other people or handle. Then why are you coming in and talking about Eugenia like if this? Why? It's not your responsibility to do this. She has done nothing to warrant criticism. All because she has an ED. You guys decide to criticize her. And she's more successful than all of you. That's the difference, sweetheart. What other people are choosing to put themselves through by watching your content, potentially being triggered. But I do think that she is still contributing to... Also, just ridiculous. Contributing, let's... Oh, fuck me. To a culture that glorifies EDs as well as undermines the damage that they do to people. Because what? Which she hasn't done any of that. She hasn't done any of that. She's just existing. She's existing with an ED and she makes content. So what? Unless she's going out there and saying all of my fans should do what I do, you shouldn't care. You shouldn't care. What the fuck do you mean? This is just what I look like. Babe. That's not just what you look like. That is a physical manifestation of a disease that... 
But that is what she looks like. You are fighting mentally, okay? And having it is not your fault. That is definitely not what I'm trying to say at all. And I definitely do not believe in blaming Eugenia for getting herself. That's not what this. But then all of your tea channels, I'm not saying you in particular, all the tea channels blame her mother, saying that her mother is forcing her to stay anorexic for clout. Other channels have said that. You guys making these videos continuously on her is not good. You guys are making content for no reason against her. It's not a disease. It's a fucking disorder. Exactly, Gara. This is, okay? You are not to blame for housing it. Nobody is, but you still have to be held accountable for your behaviors. For existing. She has to be held. Guys, 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 guys. Eugenia Cooney has to be held for existing. For existing. <laughs> Eugenia Cooney has to be held for existing, guys. The content she makes all the time. Just constantly. Come on, boys. She has to full-blown just fucking be held accountable for existing. I just don't understand. You dumb motherfucker. And a lot of them endorse some shit, whether it's purposeful or not. That's really inappropriate to be showcasing to the world, especially when you got millions of fucking followers and fucking thousands of people telling you every single day, this is what you're doing, this is the consequences of it, it's harmful. Bruh. And not only that, but if I'm gonna take it a step further... Uh, you forgot to blur out Eugenia in this one. You're gonna get a strike on your channel, lady. Which I will. I believe that Eugenia Cooney is also using people's worries as a way to further her career as well as make money. How do you know that? How do you even believe in that? Eugenia's just making content. Content. She's just making content. And the people that keep harassing her about her health is annoying to her. It's stressful to her. The, 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 the absolute vitriolic response that the T channels send over to her from channels like yours, Bella, Repzilla, all of you guys are the problem. That has been the problem forever. Hear me out, guys, because some of y'all may not realize this, especially if you don't watch her, but even if you do- Sorry, what medical profession does this loser have? Um, being from New Jersey. That's all she's got. Don't watch her. It's very easy to tell that this kind of conversation around her looks, her body, her health, that seems to be the bulk of her content pool. I mean, if you Google Eugenia Cooney, most of the results have to do with her connection to this disease. The ad Not a disease. It's a disorder. Get it right. Get it right. Get it right. Also, the reason that there's that many people searching that shit up all the time is because they just won't let her live her life. The Google search engine goes based on type. It goes based on relevance. You fucking idiot. In that sense, most of these people are just coming because they're concerned for you. And I believe that you and your team, you know this. The controversy is hard to believe that you don't understand that that will lead to engagement and then therefore pick up in the algorithm. Just there comes a certain point where enough is enough. If you This is the thing. Potentially, yes. That is the case, but you're also forgetting that Eugenia doesn't make that a point of her content. She's never made it a point of her content. She does what everyone else does. She makes game content. She does makeup content. She does beauty content. She never, ever, ever, ever has advocated for people to look like her or to have the same health as her. You guys are bullshit artists. You're literally the best bullshit artist on the planet. What controversy? The fact that Eugenia has e an ED. That's her controversy. That's it. You couldn't tell enough is a fucking enough. And this normalization, it cannot be normalized. You know what? Enough is enough of the T channels creating drama for no reason against Eugenia. Enough is enough of you guys trying to force her into rehab clinics. Enough is enough for you guys to create false stories about her brother and mother. Enough is enough for you guys to create false stories in general on other creators as well. Enough is 
enough. The T channels outside of a handful of them are actually good people. A handful. There's like maybe like two or three of them that actually do the shit that they have to do. But channels like this one and Bella and Repzilla, you guys are the problem. Channels that look up to you and think I can do what you do and I'm going to do that thing are causing more fucking problems. Just leave Eugenia alone. That's all you have to do. Leave her alone. Damn. Good one, Mia. <laughs> all in all, had previously, this is a very non-black and white situation. It's very nuanced because on the one hand, Eugenia is very clearly in a bit of a pickle. <laughs> <laughs> very clearly in a pickle. Fuck you. Eugenia Cooney is just living her life. It's not a pickle. It's not a pickle. She just exists. And you have a problem with that. And so do the rest of the T channels. You hear that, Morty? Uh, a pickle. Okay. That this is is not you motherfucker. Did you almost pickle Rick the end of this video? Did you almost put a pickle Rick joke in this? Shut up. Obviously, there's a certain amount of care that we as internet folk, as a society in general, need to have when discussing this kind of shit as she and other people who probably also fall into the same category. Let's just remember to have empathy for those who are suffering. You have no empathy for this entire situation. This entire video has been zero empathy and criticizing Eugenia on just existing. You have no sympathy for this girl. Moral of the story, just shut the fuck up about her body. Stop commentating Maybe on that I'm shit. Nice. You guys are fucking stupid if you think that's helpful. <laughs> However, I still think that people who are engaging in this type of behavior, you know, like Eugenia, especially if they're not minors, if they've reached a certain... You... Oh my god. You, you just counter... You just contradicted yourself within the same thing. You said something good. You said, hey, don't comment on her body. It's not helping. Good. But you've been doing that this entire fucking video. The entire video you've been commenting on her body and the potential reasons why that she was banned from TikTok. You contradicted yourself within 0.5 seconds of saying one good thing. Certain age, then they still need to take responsibility for their actions and the shit that they say in order to explain themselves because otherwise, other people are just gonna end up falling into the same trap. And there's a reason I use the word trap, guys. Like, what the fuck? Eugenia and this. I. <laughs> This whole thing has, you know, been somewhat of an open letter to you, but I will direct this to you specifically in this portion of the video. But I just want to let you know that this was not meant to shame or embarrass you. Which it was. You did not have to make this video first. Second, you didn't need to bring up the guidelines to TikTok that says glorifying an ED is against TOS, which she has never done. She exists. TikTok was wrong to take down her TikTok. The other aspect of this is the fact that when Eugenia brought up somebody being upset with her and that it's triggering to see her ribs, you immediately discredited it by making faces. And then when Eugenia said, I consider myself beautiful just like how fat people consider themselves beautiful, you discredited that. It's towards the end that you're just trying to salvage this so that you can look good. The thing is, is that you don't. You look like a bully. You look like somebody who has a serious problem with Eugenia Cooney for no reason. And that's on you. That is on you. Eugenia Cooney does not deserve the shit that comes out of your mouth, Bella's mouth, Repsion's mouth, or any other T-Channel's mouth that isn't just about her content. 